Have you been there before? The matriarch. The That's got to be talking about Constance. Just sign on my way to camp. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? This isn't the main road. <laughs> no, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yeah. Whoa, Jesus. What was that? Let's just keep moving. Okay. That was a weird noise. Like a buzzing almost. So... Ryan and Laura, huh? Oh boy. You think there's something there? No, I don't. Yeah, he was being kind of a jerk, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. She did say she had a boyfriend, though. Well, maybe he tuned that part out of her story. <laughs> Probably. Probably thinking about how he can sneak off and be all brooding under a stairway while he works on his abs. What a jerk. He doesn't what give me that jerk. vibe. Not that it matters, now that he's off on a daring adventure with Little Miss Mysterious. How do you compete with that? So is she into him? They're, maybe they know they're both into it? Close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? It was always next year, right? Well, let's get through this year first. Hmm. Wouldn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident. Mm -hmm. Heroic. With an eye patch. I, I wasn't getting that vibe, man. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> there. Oh, shit. And time Come to on. run. It's motion sensor. We're okay. I think. Oh, look. Steampunk's back in. <laughs> Ew. Come on. This way. You? I love steampunk. The thing is, like, yeah, you're fine. You're not getting shot at. But it's super possible that other people saw that. And now they know you someone's in their scrapyard. So what do we do now? Well, I guess we just make ourselves at home. Live up some cocktails, see what's on the TV. No? We still don't know who Ian is. I think she has right to be annoyed with Emma here, actually. For a lot of things. Would you just cut it out, please? Cut what out? Acting like... Like whatever it is you're acting like. It's not funny. Oh, sorry. My name's Abigail, and I'm clinically unable to have a good time. You see, I had it surgically removed when I was just a wee child. Hmm. Remember when she was vlogging? She said something about how Abigail thinks she's so confident and stuff. Yeah, here we go. Even when everything's falling apart, you still have to be the center of attention. Do you have an off button? Is there anything underneath all that look at me bullshit? Uh, Abby, I just... I'm just wasting so much time trying to figure out how to be like you. And I finally realized you need me to prop you up. You need an audience. And guess what? I am tired of being your audience. Sorry you feel that way. But you have been a wonderful audience. <laughs> Forget it. No. Abby. Be real. I need you. And maybe I'm just afraid that you'll realize you don't need me. You're my best friend. Well, oh, I think that's good. Hold this nine, huh? Yeah. Come on. I want to hear you say it. <laughs> Fuck this night. Fuck it all the way to morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Put me down. 
Easy, ma. Uh, put me down, you'll watch a... Run your fucking head off! Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. She's got wolf eyes, though, so maybe she can see this. Oh, damn. Gotcha. Oh, boy. What you did to my Kaylee. Get the fuck off of me. Come on. Damn! Well, she dead. Everybody stop! Constant. What the fuck is going on up here? Oh, man. Uh, wake up. Wake up. He's, her face is gone, bro. She ain't waking up. She's gone. Little Bobby. Mom's gone. Cool. Yeah. Laura might want to look for an exit here. No more protecting anyone. Travis. Yep, good call. Oh boy. Whew. Oh shit. Oh my god. Where is he? Oh, he's in like a dumb waiter. Okay. I don't know what we do with this knife here. Do you take those? I like. I think you're supposed to leave them in. All right, that's not good. I I think you're supposed to leave it in. Cause otherwise. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Otherwise, the blood's just gonna pour out. He'd have to figure out a way to stop that. I don't know, man. Oh, I'm in control now. Okay, let's go, baby. Check ourselves out in the mirror. Check our six-pack. Oh, what's this? Kaylee's letter. Another piece of evidence. Damn. So we missed two early, but like, yeah. Letter of confession addressed to her grandmother. Can I read that? I can't even read it. Huh. Hackett Scrap. Okay, that's where Dylan and Caitlin are. Paths. Laura shot Constance in the head. And Dylan, or sorry, Ryan chose not to remove the knife. Yeah, I hope that doesn't backfire on me. What is this? A closet? Oh, I bet you it's a secret closet thing, kind of like Chris's office. 
or maybe not. Weird. Okay, before we leave, let's check out the rest of this place. That's huge. Ew. Is that flesh or a shit? <laughs> like a chamber pot? I don't need to know. It's gross either way. And then there's another door here. Oh, hello. Death. Well, that could be important. Death takes many forms. It could mean change, transition, or transformation. Often interpreted as a beacon for the hopeful. In your case, it just means death. Huh. This, um... Wheel of Fortune. Let's look at this again. Okay, so something's grabbing the sheriff. Dylan has a gun. And the thing is killing the sheriff. I don't know who that is that's turning. Someone gets stabbed in the face with a thing. don't know who that is on the ground. It, like, it makes me want to say that it's, um, Constance that's turning. But she's dead. But maybe somehow... That doesn't matter. Or that could be Laura. And he chooses not to shoot. That's what it seems like. I didn't mean to check that. There's another door in there into like a shared closet of sorts. That means that there's a door to that side. It's got to be somehow connected to this, right? Like, why would we be opening that otherwise? I wonder if now that we saw that door, do we check this again for some reason? I just know that there's got to be something with this closet. up on the closet. Wow, what the frick? Oh boy. Oh! Get in the closet. Hide in the closet. Um, in cabinet. I don't know, that might be a horrible decision. <laughs> okay, he has a key on him.
Let's see if he enters that room. If he checks under that bed, I'm going. Yep. Go, buddy! Oh, shit! Oh, I'm stressed. Oh, I'm fucking stressed. Oh my god, dude, I don't know about this, but it seems to have maybe worked. Holy crap. I'm close. Stand by. Over. E oh boy. Okay, so he clearly knows now. You can't hide from me in my own house, fucker! <laughs> You're a fucker. <laughs> You're a fucker. Come on. That's hilarious. Um, let's keep running, maybe? I don't see anyone close to us, so... Just like Resident Evil vibes, eh? Some of the... Like, house design. Even the way the characters move sometimes. Oh god, are you gonna hit the keys or something stupid? Check under the stairs, always? No? Don't hit the keys. Don't hit the keys. Just look. No! We're not going to play? Are you kidding me? Here, Hunting trophy wall. The spoils of the Hackett's hunting prowess. You'd think they'd want to cover up bullet wounds and signs of injury. Perhaps they serve as a reminder that these animals are definitely dead. Do we have any other stuff in here? No. Why would we play the piano? I wonder if it maybe they have like a secret compartment or something somewhere. Oh, they have deer heads everywhere. There's a door over there. These cages should hold Chris, Caleb, and Kaylee. When camp's over, they can keep hunting the werewolf. Excuse me? Hunting the white wolf. He's got to come back sooner or later. It'll be safe if we use blood. Last thing we need is more casualties. T. So he does seem to try... Like, he's trying to help people. The problem is the whole family is aft. What are we looking at here? Is this like a family tree? Yeah, hack a family tree. Okay. I have been around for quite some time. Their roots running deep in the local area. Jedediah and Constance are together. 
Travis, Chris, and Robert, Bobby. And then there was... Um, Amelia and Chris gave birth to Caleb and Kaylee. Right. Okay, so Bobby is... Uh, Travis is the oldest, Chris is the middle child, and Robert was the youngest. It's interesting that Robert wasn't in the photo because Chris and... Uh, Chris is 73, uh, born in 73, Robert only three years later, and they looked like they were older than, like, three years old in that photo. Um, is there any other names here? Constance and Jedediah came from Louisa Clark, who was married to Francis Hackett, who had sister Leah Hackett. There's Septimus Hackett. We saw that name. That was on the Miners page, right? Septimus was married to Moira Jackson. Septimus had a shitload of brothers and sisters. Between... Ellen and Azariah in 1830. Mary Piggin. Giddis, maybe? I can't really tell what that says in the top left. But I think the key is down here. And Septimus maybe having like a billion brothers and sisters. It says when they died, too. Look, uh, Benjamin was only 15. Matthias was only... 24? George was... George lasted a long time. He was like 66. Lizette was 20. 72 to 1911. Okay, it's like 30, 40-ish. Annabelle, 88 to 39, like 50-ish. Septimus, 90 to 44, so he's like 54. What about these guys down here? Uh, oh, so Chris's wife died in 99. Holy crap. Only like, so when, they're, her, when their kids were like... Uh, uh, four and five. Okay. Amelia. Okay. I don't know how relevant that is, but either way, it's interesting to know. The sun. Okay. Vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. Okay. If I could pick one right now to learn from, it would be death. Looks like there's still a few more. Holy shit. Is that our, uh, is that our, um, lady friend? With the tarot cards? Oh boy. Oh boy. How do you do it? Out the window. Or we throw him out the window. We ain't playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. Holy shit. Okay. You know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you. But I sure to hell can make you suffer. Oh, wow.
Let's go, baby. She's got, like, that werewolf strength kicking in, right? So she can handle this. Oh, <laughs> the neck crack. Attack or run? Uh, run. Hey, what's your position? What's your position? The light's throwing us. There we go. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck. This controller, I swear to God. I swear to God. Um, the fuses took out everything. Oh man. Be cool. Maybe it didn't notice. Be cool, Jacob. Don't fuck this up, bro. Oh, he noticed. No. No, 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 wait. Oh, wait. damn. Oh, no. Uh, maybe we get to save him. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, we do. So, okay. Let's talk about this a little bit, because I feel like in both of these deaths that happened, both Nate and this one, um, there's quite literally no way that we could have planned or conceived that that was going to happen. Example. With, uh, with Nate, or Nick, sorry, it was, um, oh, do you want to stop Laura? But it didn't even show, I don't think it even showed Laura aiming. It was just, oh, stop Laura. From doing what? I didn't know. I thought she was just going to, like, maybe poke the cage or, like, I don't know. I didn't think she was going to just shoot. And then here, literally, it, it seems like an option of, fight or run but we didn't even run we uh ended up hitting the fuse box and like how would you know th like that's it's bizarre I, it, if it pops up and says oh do you want to hit the fuse box to turn off the lights and then you do it that's a little bit more understandable but i just feel like that was a bit weird all right well fine we're gonna we're gonna save him, I guess. So I guess we're fighting. Fair, sure. I just feel like it's a little bit out of my hands. But maybe if I got Jacob out of there, I wouldn't be in this scenario. Think about it. Why would they lock him in a cage? And who the hell is it? Who the hell is she? She's in charge. Oh. You've already got it wrong once. It might even be Nick. Oh, Frank, look at this. Listen. Okay. They said that they've already got two of us accounted for. Whatever that means. Whoever this is, they're, they're not going anywhere. Remember? We've got to be sure. You promised. Fine. Fine. you got to get me out of here. Okay, seriously, man. They took it. They took it. You fucking idiot. Ma. God damn it. You fucking piece of shit. Get away! Get away from me! They're close. Now this is kind of unique. So, it seems like, yeah, okay. Th okay. We need to we need okay. to get Jacob okay. out of here. That's okay. So that's the key. All I know is you have to. Interesting. That takes us back to here. And definitely not that door. Oh, cool. Thanks, detective. Okay, fuck you, man. I'm trying to help. No, fuck you. I'm trying to Shut help. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, there's a console on the wall over there, like a box or whatever. You should be able to use those switches to isolate each cage. Okay. Hang tight. Okay. 
Okay, so let's think about this, because clearly we didn't figure this out in the first one. Three, five, and seven. So we had opened three because I thought it was his cage. That didn't do anything. And then I opened four, and that ended up being the big bad cage. Which must mean... Like, obviously these are not referencing the cage numbers. So three and four... <laughs> is it is this an adding thing? Three and four were seven. Which is the, the werewolf cage. Right? So... We want to open... Uh, well, how's this going to work? So it's 753. We need to open the middle cage. We need to open Jacob's cage. So let's see if this... I guess if we fail it again, we have another life to use. So let's do this. And see if our... Theory is correct. Hey, dude. Nice. Okay. Right, don't fuck it up. Well, continue, obviously. I can do this. I can do this. Focus, dude. Focus. Oh, and then they just reset. Okay. So then let's use the same logic. And we'll do a total of three. Okay. Oh, sick. Okay. See, now, <laughs> after criticizing the life system, the, the fact that it takes us way back here to undo oh, that damn. is kind of cool to highlight the choice awful. that we made. Hell. Where's everyone else? Um, Jake. Emma wasn't with them. Huh. I don't know where she All is. Right. But you should go catch up with them. Be careful. It came into the mines. I don't. I don't know if there's a way back up. So now, do we go back? Do we have to go through this whole sequence again? Not my, not God, not, not my only granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little. Kaylee. If we d have to do this all again, I'll just cut into where we pick up. Okay, now, hold on a second. Where is this now? Is this different? Uh, okay, I think we're, okay. Interesting. So I had to redo a huge chunk, literally everything from uh, when we saved Jacob there. Okay, no, 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 I see. Wait, do I see? Okay. So this is all different, is it not? Maybe I'm confused. Oh, is this a, what is this? Hey, what popped up there? Something definitely popped up there, did it not? Weird.
I don't know... what's going on here now. That sequence must have also changed this part, right? There's a way out there. Because, like, when we turned off the... When we knocked out the power... That's what got uh, Jacob killed. Oh, this is blocked here. Holy shit, you can't see anything. Okay, so that, I guess it just fundamentally changes the whole sequence. What the? Where the frick are we? Okay. So this I remember. I don't remember walking through that other stuff. There's the piano, which I'm not going to play. The skulls. This is where the family tree was. Gotta come back sooner or later. It'll be safe if we use blood. Last thing we need is more casualties. T. Yep. So some of this is going to be repeats for you guys as well. I'm not going to go through all of this again, obviously. Um... Fine. Oh, controller. I don't know what your what your deal is. <laughs> The sun, again, yeah. Creepy. Now, should we do the same thing here, or maybe we should just fight him? I got better. It just bit. Oh, you're gonna shoot me again? That worked so well for you last time. Yeah. Hey. I you know I might not have enough silver to kill you, but I could sure make you suffer.
<laughs> oh, that, I love that. Um, I'll do the same thing that I chose before. It's fair. Okay, what's your position? What's your position? Maybe attacking and running is the same thing, and this always happens. I'd be curious to know. Where are you? He's got old man eyes. Hey! Everybody fucking stop right now! Shoot her. Take her face off. You know what she did to Kaylee? And she killed your mother, too. <laughs> he makes a pretty good hey! argument. Doesn't have the silver bullet anyways, I imagine. Okay.